because I don't know what to play. Let's see, what's really easy? I'm trying to think of stuff I learned when I first started playing, but that's a long time ago. 12, 13? <laughs>
two Nugent songs, Cat Scratch Fever and Wang Dang Sweet Poontang, just in case you didn't get it. Really? <laughs> this one so I know I've told the story about Ten Nugent walking in on the music store I used to work at I had to get him a wonder bar because he wanted a, he just bought a Les Paul standard he didn't want it carved into he said with by putting a Floyd in so he wanted a something he wanted a weighing bar he said I want that that bar like Eddie Van Halen uses and I'm like yeah that's a Floyd Rose. He goes, but I don't want a Floyd Rose. Is there anything else? I go, yeah, it's a Kaler. He goes, do they have to carve? I go, very little. It's like a very little bit right here, and that's it. He goes, no. He goes, is there anything they could just bolt on? I go, yeah, there's the uh, Washburn Wonder Bar. But that's like, it's kind of like the Kaler, but I don't think it's as good, but it, it could be. I don't know. I have a guitar with one on it, it was like a Randy Rhodes fake Randy Rhodes guitar with a Wonder Bar on it and two fake like uh, EMGs. I still have it. It doesn't play. I go, I can get that put on here for you. He goes, okay, do it. Gives me his number and I get it done and I call him. I'm like, okay, it's ready. He's like, wow, that was quick. What's your name? I go, Michael. I go, he goes, Michael what? I go, Michael Skews. He goes, Michael Skews, you're my Burbank contact from now on. 
Every time I'm in the area and I need help, I'm calling you. Cool? I said, cool. It was all right. I'm playing the show, you know, coming up. I'll be back here in a few months. You'll be on the list. Boom. I was great. Thought he'd never remember me again. So that was 1983 or four, 1984. Now we're in like 1999, 98, 99, and I got the Nugent pinball machine. And I brought the back glass down to the House of Blues to get signed. And I'm holding it, holding it, holding it. Ross Halflin, you know, the photographer guy, was standing there. I go, dude, aren't you uh, Ross, the photographer guy? Yes. I go, dude, my guitar teacher, Randy Rose. Oh, he was such a dear guy. Blah, 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 blah. I go, yes, can you help me out here? He goes, well, if I can. I go, see this? And I showed him. He goes, holy crap, you've been holding that the whole time? I told him yes, but I didn't. I ran out to the car got it and and huffed it back up the street we were parked in the lot you know valet but you know i wanted to make it sound like i really labored to get this he goes i'll go talk to ted and see if he'll sign this he'll he will so and i this used to be axel rose's machine but axel and ted got in an argument ted's or axel sold his machine but he had signed his own machine so he's got a Ted Nugent machine, but he signed Axel to it before he sold it, which brought the value up zero. I bought the machine for like 350 bucks in, in 98 or 99. So Ted sees it and he says, what's this? I go, I don't know. It just looks like scribbling. He goes, I know who that, what that says. That says Axel. This is Axel Rose's machine. We, you know, that... F that guy, you know, and F this, you know, little motherfucker, da 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 So he goes on telling me how much he hates Axel. He goes, wait a minute. You're Michael Skews. Yes. You got that bar put on my uh, Les Paul. Yes. He goes, wow. He goes, you, you, thought, you thought I wouldn't remember you. I go, I was positive you wouldn't remember me. He goes, yeah. He goes, yeah, I remember. I remember you one for two reasons. One, that you got that done for me so quick, and it worked out great, and I kept that guitar for like 15 years. And he did, and I saw it at a vintage guitar place down the street like five years ago. I should have bought it. It was like $12,000, but I didn't do it. Should have bought it, though. But I, only I knew the history, and I, you know, I don't know. I don't like those Wonder Bars, and it had really been messed up. Some he had sold it to somebody, and they tried to do something to it. it they just butchered it. So, anyways, Ted came into the to Killing Music where I worked a couple of times. The first time he came in, I'm like, "Wow, Ted Nugent was here. This is amazing." So, when I was sitting there and there was nothing to do, I'd clean the guitars. And I'd usually plug them in and, and jam a little bit and clean. Nobody cared because nobody was coming into that place hardly. And so I I started playing this. I started playing uh, Wang Ding, Sweet Ding. And I'm like... <laughs> that's wrong you can tell I'm playing it wrong but it's good enough so I'm, I'm doing that and I'm like and then I hear this 
And I turn around and guess who's standing behind me? Ted friggin' Nugent. He goes, that was effing horrible. I go, what? He goes, that's not the way it goes. I go, well, that's the way I play it. He goes, but if you're going to play it, play it right. Give me the guitar. And he showed me how it was done. I, I already forgot how to play it. But how I learned it for a neat, for a good enough for me to play it as an encore, boy, that pissed him off. He couldn't, oh, he was pissed. He's like, if you're going to butcher my songs, butcher them right. I'm like, I am butchering them right to me. He's like, no, play it right. And so he showed me, and I give it back to me. Finally, I played it right for him. But then when we played it again, I, I played it like I just played it now. I don't know how it goes. I still don't know how it goes. I just, you know, that main part. <laughs> song butchered by me and the guy that wrote it actually heard me uh, play it wrong so not only will you say dude you're playing it wrong I play everything wrong I play it how I hear it and how I want to play it jeez Thank you. 
done destroying your ears. I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just trying to play a little each day and keep my fingers going. <laughs>